Hello and welcome, this is Moose2006, and we are back on our farm. So I have a few ideas uh, to maybe try and get the sower slash cultivator combination I was talking about last time. So I'm going to get him started just in case that doesn't work out. And it looks like I'm a little too far to the right, so we'll redo that. So basically my idea is to sell some of our weeds and then sell the cultivator and this, uh, the sower that we have and see if that can get us the 50,000 or whatever we need to get the uh, sower cultivator with combo which is this one right here. So we need 52,000 we have three, and I think all our bank loan is gone, so we can't take any out. We can sell the cultivator that we have for, oh, so about 5,000 and 75, so we can get about 13,000 or so from that. So if we can get 35,000 dollars, which is a lot, um, again, might not work, but I think we're going to try it. So we're going to sell some crops. If we get lucky, then maybe in that time a great demand will occur for us to take advantage of. So we have... oh boy. Um, okay, we're actually going to stop him and use this tractor to haul our crops. So if we look at what we have in storage, we actually start out with quite a bit. Uh, another thing that the difficulties affect is how much you start with. So we can probably dip into these uh, quite a bit. And we have 37,000 wheats. So let's take some wheats to the train station and see if we can get about 35 or 40,000 to help us out. Because if we get that sower and cultivator, That'll save us a ton of planting time. Not only because it's larger, but obviously it can do both at once instead of two separate tasks. So let's go over to our storage silos over here. And, and I don't want to crash while well, there's a lot of trees in my way, so I don't want to quite pull the map yet. And the train station, okay, that's where we went. Uh, a couple episodes ago. So let's fill this guy up. And if we take our sower and cultivator directly to the shop, we should get a little bit more from them than what the garage actually said. So I think once we sell We'll probably have to do maybe two of these. Uh oh. This hill might be a little too much for our tractor. No, we'll get up there. It's just slow going. Um, I do. I did notice after playing Bjornholm for, I don't know, 90 or 100 hours, that this map, the Westbridge Hills, is relatively flat like super super flat except for that one hill there uh, there's not a lot of places where you really need um, like a really powerful tractor and I'm, I think a lot of that's probably just because it was one of their earliest maps they probably made since it was the 2013 uh, one of the 2013 maps but then you go to Bjornholm and everything is a hill you're constantly driving up and down hills I mean your farm itself sits on this huge mound of hill and so it really kind of forces you, in a way, to have to upgrade your tractors so that you can actually haul your implements up and down, you know, your trailers and whatnot. Whereas this map's kind of fortunate because, yeah, it's nice to have the more powerful tractors for moments like that, but it's not a huge necessity because, for the most part, this map is just flat. Just one big plane. Um, and a another reason, probably the biggest reason, actually, is just because of the setting. Um, Whereas this is probably, you know, it's kind of the USA map set on the plains where it is definitely flat because I, uh, that's where I live is the 
Midwest United States and it's yeah and there's some slight slopes and sh uh, low hills but definitely no uh, no mountains or, or anything too uh, too big I guess well that showed up on stream so hopefully it doesn't uh, anyway All right, so we got 29,000. Let's sell our cultivator and sower because I know this will work now. I mean, we have enough crops that this will be okay. Uh, so let's sell our cultivator sower, see how much we have as a total. If we need to sell a few more crops, we can definitely manage. And it might be worth selling a lot more and set up a better mowing system or else getting silage is going to take way too long but we'll see after uh, after we get our silver cultivator and get our canola finally planted so I'm going to go over here and get the hopefully I beat this car oh okay thanks for stopping and I think the cultivator is way at the end of this field there and again the reason I'm taking the cultivator indirectly instead of just selling it from the garage menu I mentioned a couple episodes ago is that if you actually take it to the shop and put it in this little box you get a little bit more uh, when you sell it and there's a percentage I just can't remember it's like 15 or 20 it tells you somewhere so yeah instead of 45 I get you know 56 so we'll sell that and now we'll go get the little tiny starter sower and get rid of that. We never even got a chance to use it, which is just fine with me. It'd also be kind of a nice touch if they, uh, sold more if they were clean or something. You know how you can get the car wash? Uh, if, if you brought them in when they were like pristine clean like this, it would give the car wash like a legit functionality instead of just aesthetics, which would be, I don't know, probably doesn't make a ton of sense because that would actually obviously wouldn't happen in real life, but it would uh, it'd be a neat touch. Okay, so we are almost there. Not, that's not what I want, though I do want that eventually. But we need just a little bit more, 10,000 more. So we can probably sell, yeah, let's just do a little more wheat since we have, well, we have everything. Yeah, we'll just do more wheat. Yeah, train station's pretty close and we have more wheat than anything. Um, if we get lucky, we'll get a canola. Great demand by the time we harvest our next our uh, field of canola, and that can really get us started buying some really great things like our mowers and uh, wind rovers and whatnot, so we can get that silage for our cows. So anyway, I'm gonna get the tipper and get some more wheat and take it to the train station. So the question becomes, do I take just enough to get the um, sower cultivator or do I just do a full load? And I think I'm just going to take as much, I'll just take all the wheat. Um, I definitely will need the money at some point, and I know I could wait for great demand, but again, they come so rarely. You know, unless I speed it up to like 120 times and the days fly by, they just don't come frequently enough to really count on. I will probably wait to sell canola until that happens, because it's worth so much uh, anyway, but 
for now. Might as well just take a full load. And anyway, we actually still have like a thousand or so left leaders, I think the units are. Come on. Alright, let's see how much we can make from this. Uh, it should be around 22,000. And the sun's starting to come out, which I really appreciate. Hopefully the lighting of the vehicles is enough for the video. So it should tell us up in the top right how much we make from this at the end. 24, that's really, really good. Um, let's buy our, unless there's a sale, nope. So let's buy our, this, our silver cultivator. So the Vederstad Rapid A600S, six meters, and no previous cultivating, which is just the best. So let's go pick this up and get our canola started. And then we'll probably, oh man, I'm just wondering if I should keep selling and just get our our uh, wind rower and second mower. I think it's worth it. I really, really do. So I'm going to... Yeah. Because I would need about another... Well, let's buy this. Yeah, let's buy it. And then I'll, I'll have a better idea of... Um, how much I need. So 16,000 and I need 52 for that and it's definitely worth getting one of these. It'd be nice to get this one but I won't bank on it. So 52, so about 70,000. So I need about 54,000 which I could do if I emptied this, but I don't. Eh, I don't think I want to empty it quite yet. So I'll probably get this started and then maybe do some more mowing, just like I did last time with just the one mower, and see if we can get a little more silage uh, in our bin. So I'll leave this here and pick this up. make sure to set it to canola. Oh, I need the fertilizer spreader, don't I? Yes, that's... How much do I need for that? Oh, I can buy that. That's really, really good. Because that will increase our yield, and since we have to do all the work anyway, it's just completely worth uh, purchasing. So I'm glad that I remember to do that, or else I would have regretted that later. So... We can unfold this, we got our canola selected, and we will, eh, I think that might be a little off, not that it's a huge deal, but might as well try to get the whole field. And it, it doesn't matter when you fertilize, um, whether it's before or after sowing, so I can finish. Yeah, I can do it after this is done. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to get that strip. Hope that doesn't bother anyone. Um, it won't be too big too big a deal in the, in the scheme of things. So this is slowly... Maybe I should buy more sheep. How much are sheep again? 300 and... What's our percentage of wool? 9. Wow. So I definitely need a lot more sheep to probably make this worth it, but we will not probably worry about that this episode. I'm going to hope there's enough grass still left, and I'm just going to mow a while and see if we can get a little more um, grass in our silage bin so we can get that blanketed and fed to our cows.
it full again. Um, that single, using a single mower sure does take a long time. I definitely probably have it as a priority to get that back mower as well. Um, cause, wow. Which is fine, I mean, that's that's the game, you know, sometimes you just gotta put in the put in the time, but it would definitely, definitely be nice to get that other mower as well to help us out. So we'll compact this as I unload it, and we'll see if it's enough. Oops. Okay. 100% and no. So probably one more load. And then we'll probably be done for a long time. So maybe on second thought, even though I just got done saying it, maybe it's might not be a big deal if we don't have that mower for a while. Because once that silage is made, with the very few cows that I have, you know, that 60,000 silage should last us quite a while. Uh, we will we'll have to see once it's all done. Uh, but for now, I want to go up to the shop with this tractor and get the fertilizer spreader and get our field fertilized just so that's kind of done with. Um, and it looks like that guy... I don't really see my worker for some reason. There he is. Good, so that's not taking too long uh, to do. Definitely worth selling the wheat so that we could obtain that new sower. Take out that cultivating step. So we will get this... Uh, fertilizer spreader that should be here, and then we'll go fill it up. I don't really have money to fill it up, but it should let us go into debt a little bit. Should be able to do it. That was uh, what, what? What am I doing? Not playing very well. Yep. There we go. All right. I'll take this to the farm and fill this guy up. I don't quite remember where it's at. I remember seeing it. When I first started this game, uh, there, uh, I think that's it by the barn over there. Oh, we should probably check our chickens as well. I haven't done that, so fill this up. I think it'll fill up as I, even if I'm not in it. I guess we'll find out when I get back. Ooh, hello chickens! Thanks for the eggs. This is great. We could probably actually sell these and get, you know. 50 bucks. Um, I think there's one hiding back here. It's like Easter every day. Thanks. And we will see if it's full, which it is. And I, this, the nice thing about the spreader is that it really doesn't take long to fertilize because it shoots out. Uh, quite a width of the fertilizer. So we will sort of here. I use the light as kind of a guide. Um, it spreads about as far as the light does, so uh, it tends to help me out to gauge a little better. Alright. Ah, oop, I did not want a hyper worker. I wanted to push B. And here we go. Yeah, it looks like it's a little wider than the light. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good distance, so I'll finish up and fertilize this field.
Okay, we got one more strip. I will say this uh, little dirt road is quite heavily trafficked. Um, I've almost ran into some cars. Our sewer worker over there almost hit a car. It's quite dangerous. Um, this will be the end of the episode. Uh, we will get the canola finished, planted next time, and we'll see. We'll probably fill up our silage finally and kind of do a little more work with our cows and sheep. We are definitely in debt, but we will. We have crops that we can sell if we need to fix that. Um, I think go things are going pretty well. I am pleased with with what's going on. I hope you are as well. Thanks for watching. Have yourselves a very nice day.